we're on track in some places saying two plus degrees at least. Um, you're seeing this graphic right there. That's the current path we're on. The green and then the blue is the, the serious right turn we'd have to take. Researchers say urgent and sustained action is critical this decade to prevent catastrophic consequences. As global temperatures climb, the last eight years of record-breaking heat will end up being the coolest in a generation's time, even if planet-warming fossil fuel emissions drop quickly. After all, I believe in the First Amendment. Not just because my good friend Jimmy Madison wrote it. <laughs> Has been full of headline grabbing climate protests in D.C. That includes at the National Gallery of Art yesterday and on the GW Parkway earlier this week. But are the demonstrations actually working? Our Josh Rosenthal is in Northwest tonight with reaction from some of the people who've taken part. We don't apologize for what we're doing here. And this week, they've been doing it a lot. Bruce Russell Jane is one of the protesters who shut down the GW Parkway Wednesday. They're protesting fossil fuels up there. Meanwhile, Thursday, Tim Martin did this at the National Gallery of Art. Climate group Declare Emergency organized the demonstrations with the goal, they said, of getting the president to declare a climate emergency. You have to do this per perceived um, conflict raising action in order to get our voices heard. And we've tried everything else. We've tried voting, uh, signing petitions. Nobody's listening and nobody's talking about the climate emergency. But do the extreme stunts actually work? All of these people are sitting here waiting to either go to work, could be a medical emergency. Friday, some people told us they support the protests. What do you think? I think it's awesome. Others feel differently, however, even if they do support the cause. I think that people should be smart climate change advocates, and we should get the truth out there because climate change is real, but this doesn't do their cause any good. Do you worry that some of these actions, instead of bringing people closer to your cause, may actually push them away? No, because we have uh, research that shows these actions raise awareness. We're not trying to convince the deniers. We're not trying to convert anyone. We're after those people who are already concerned about climate change to get them to up their level of action. One last thing, these climate protests, they're not over yet. A group is planning to blockade the White House Correspondents' Dinner on Saturday. Martin said at this time he's unsure whether he's going to participate. Russell Jane, meanwhile, said he's already left town because he told me he doesn't think it's a good idea to get arrested twice. Guys, back to you.